welcome friends today we are going to discuss about a medical shop billing software how we can run a medical shop billing software how we can use it how we can add the product and how we can check all the expert date this is what we are going to discuss in this uh, video and when you are getting this kind of uh, billing software first of all we need to understand what uh, platform which uh, the software which is made this software is made on vb.net project that means the software which will install in your computer it is an offline platform very clear it is an offline platform the all data all information it will keep in your system only so when you are getting such kind of product first of all we need to in, uh, in enter our uh, company informations here we can go there in the master entry in the top left corner you can see click on there company info you can inf uh, add and you can fill all your informations like your company name mobile number state email id everything even your logos you can add it and you can save it so without adding your company information the project is not going to run this is the mandatory system so the next step what we need to do we need to add the product in you know, first whenever uh, you are uh, uh, installing this kind of software there will not be any kind of products the because uh, there is a lot of uh, database is available you know there is thousand millions of uh, medical uh, you know names that will be uh, you know which is already saved in the software such kind of database is available it is actually useless because uh, when our shop they have uh, in our shop maybe uh, 600 or 700 products medicines are there or 1000 medicines are there or 1500 medicines are there yeah 2000 medicines are there example that particular numbers we will add add on the software with our uh, you know expiry date and all this is the number one easiest to be. easiest to be because we have a proper control what we have this is the main thing so in order to add the product into the software there is a three specific uh, options are there very simple options number one you can add all the products through excel sheet this is the first option excel bulk import option is there number two option you can purchase as you add the product one by one like you know each one product you can add for example one particular medicine you received that you can add one by one or the third option you can add the product through purchase entry this any third option this both all three options you can uh, use uh, as per your uh, you know convenient like if you are uh, running your medicine uh, business uh, so long and you now you are adding your computer as a billing system for example in in case in that scenario better add through bulk upload excel sheet this is the thing so uh, here you can uh, go and see in the top uh, import export excel you can see over here here you can see products there is some number of products we have added recently so in order to see that one you can see, click on that show all products see click on that so whatever the products is there already in the software you can see over here this one you can export export it will uh, blink over there you can see over here you can save this file save us to any desktop for example apco medical medical shop excel excel you can save it over here so this file is already saved in your desktop so this one you can drag and drop for example from here to you can just drag and drop and uh, up to the previous one for example up to previous one uh, previous uh, items you can maybe delete can you? this one you can delete because this product already there in the software this product name you can change for example uh, do, dolo d o l do, one new medicine you are added, added dolo okay dolo any 400 mg dolo 400 example this is all uh, dolo 400 okay uh, dolo 400 sorry this all dollar 400 the item name is same but batch number and expiry will be different this is the main thing. maybe the selling price also will be different here we go in the right side we can go and see over here the the expiry date you can see over here we can change the expiry date as per your you know uh, expiry here this is the one is on the sixth month we can make it in the seventh month it is expiring 
here it is on 8th month 2021 it is expiring we can track it which month uh, which are the product is going to expire this is the main advantage in this and for example this track um, 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 code is different any yani the what we called uh, batch number will be different for each for, so that we can put our each uh, different batch numbers for that particular medicine this is the one single medicine we are adding and you can add your uh, thousands of medicine like that and your sale rate also you can change for example one piece of medicine for example 140 rupees 150 rupees any 100 rupees something like that and the stock also you can see uh, change it as per your current stock how much it is there currently i am putting all thousand pieces because you know uh, when we are selling it will uh, deduct from the stock uh, live stock and the mrp you can change over here mrp and sale price both are there MRP you can change for example, but to, uh, example 220 is there, 240 is there, 250 is there, uh, different uh, yani MRP you can mention over here, 200 is there, yani different batch number, different MRP, this is the main concern, but the uh, product name will be same, another uh, products, another number of products will be there, yani, uh, something like that, paracetamol or something like that, different, different products will be there, but these four products uh, we have a uh, dollar one particular product for uh, different batch number is there very clear this one we saved and close and this one we close and let me show you the um, excel sheet this is the excel sheet what we prepared right now so it is already there in the desktop so just close it uh, completely and we will go to our software then uh, here you click on import export products select that uh, particular uh, file medical shop see the product which you added right now you can see over here click on the save button which is uh, reflected on the top save button yes so now this product is already go and save over the software go to the stock button here you can see over here i will show you uh, sorry this one uh, stock button yes stock button click on the stock button stock report see the dollar which uh, we recently added it is came over here thousand thousand pieces now what we are going to do we will uh, sell the product click on the sale panel like that i will uh, show you this one click on the sale panel and click here uh, the d uh, yani the starting letter of d and click on enter so dollar there is different uh, price different quantity you can see over here any this is all thousand any yani thousand uh, pieces current strokes are there so i will uh, sell right now 500 pieces and uh, add to cart and for example it is coming around uh, 70,000 and saved and okay so now this uh, 500 piece we already sold so now we will click again the stock button and we will see how much piece is live stock you can see over here in this corner see I will zoom it zoom it the dollar you can see over here it was previously thousand now it is reduced to 500 this is the thing now you will get a proper clear any stroke inventory management system in this uh, software this is very important that we need to understand what's current stroke we have and we can take the printout also the current live stroke and we can check it the main thing we are coming now how we will check the expiry the expiry is very very important in order to that you can go to the top reports go to reports there is expired items are there click on that then now here you change the month in which month for example october which are the medicines is going to expire these are the medicines is going to expire and in the november month you can click on november which are the medicines is going to expire and for example in the september month september 30th which are the month, product is going to expire and uh, august there are some items is deducting you can show over there may month which are the product is going to expire only three products is going to expire that that way you can clearly any yani, control your medicines control your expiry date with this software this is the main thing main philosophy in the um, uh, in the medicine so shop billing software is the expiry date is batch number and product and stock management this is the main philosophy for the any you know, medical shop billing software and when you are doing the sales 
you can mention even the doctor name and contact number also over here doctor name sala so that that will also print in the you know records also in the print out it will come over there there is two options are there in the print out a4 sheet and you know 6 by 4 inch also is there both option also is there you can uh, use your you know uh, this printer what we called uh, uh, a4 size printer or if you require some uh, print out in the thermal printer we can give in the, that setup also no issues so if you have any doubts if you need more about in your uh, about uh, medicine shop billing software you can call us or in order to implement in your shop also you can call us 8078311945 or 8606093110 we are ready to help you from morning 10 am to evening uh, 5.30 Indian, Indian time. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you. Bye-bye.